Hey, welcome back to yet another video on the channel. In this video, I'll be showing how to set up a simple regenerating boost system. Before getting started, I would like to just clarify once again, I'm using Unreal Engine 5.1.1, I'm saying this cause while making this video, I noticed that the way to map inputs has changed and Unreal now uses something known as enhanced input. In older versions of Unreal, you used to have to go to the project settings then click on inputs and add or change key mappings that way. The latest version makes use of action inputs and input mapping context. I'll leave a link in the description to a video that explains what it is. I'll start off with creating a new level. I'm naming the level Sprint cause I'll be using it to set up a track later on in the series. Create a fairly sized landscape to have enough Set up a simple lighting system using directional lighting and skylight which are under lights and sky atmosphere and exponential height fog which are under visual effects and finally add a player start. In the world settings for the newly created level, look for game mode override, click and select the vehicle advanced game mode. This will set the sports car as the default vehicle for the level. Click on the settings in the top right and select project settings. Within the project settings under maps and modes, change the editor startup map to the newly created map. This is so, that when Unreal Engine is opened, it will set this map as the default and you won't have to jump around between maps as this map will be used for a while. Open the sports car pawn and In the sports car pawn event graph, I'll be creating categories just to make things a little neater. To set up a category, click on one of the variables and under category in the details tab, it will say default, click on the word then rename and the new category will be created then drag in any other variables you want within that category from under the variables tab on the left. I'll be creating performance in nitro, though it should say boost, category and moving all related variables into each. Create a new variable and name it boost fuel and set it up as a float variable then under category Look for the event tick function and hover over delta seconds, right click, and promote to variable and connect it between the event tick and set angular damping. This is so that we don't have to drag off from the event tick function for the nodes that will make use of the delta seconds and the code will look better organized. Go back to the level window, click, and select the input folder in the content browser. Double click and open the file imc underscore default will be Within there, there is an actions folder, open it and you'll find the input actions. Right click and under input, look for and select action input. Rename it as IA underscore boost. The IA stands for input. Action, this will be needed when adding it to the input mapping context. You don't have to name it like that, it simply makes it easier to find. You don't have to change anything by the input action and just save and close it. Within the IMC underscore default window, click the plus next to mappings. A newly created input will be added at the bottom. Click on the drop down that says none and select the IA underscore boost that was just created. Click on the keyboard symbol and then click on your keyboard the button that you want assigned to the function. In my case, I selected the left shift button cause of how I position my hands on a keyboard. After that save and close the window. In the sports car pawn event graph, right click the Right click and search for custom event and name it boost decrease then right click again and add another custom event and name that one boost increase.
Drag in the boost fuel variable for both the boost decrease and increase. I'll be doing the boost decrease first. Drag off from the boost fuel and search greater than and leave the value at Drag off from the boost decrease function and add a branch node then connect the greater than to the condition by the branch node. Drag off from the true and search for a delay node and set the value to 0.001. And then drag in another boost fuel variable and drag off then search for subtract. Drag out another boost fuel and select set then connect the delay and the subtract to the set node. Finally drag off from the set node and search for the boost decrease function. Onto the boost increase, drag off from the boost increase function and add a branch node. From the condition by the branch node drag off and search lesser than and connect to the boost. Fuel that was dragged out earlier, set the value by the lesser than to 100. Drag off from the branch node and search set boost fuel then right click and search get boost fuel. Drag off and search for the add function and connect to the set node. From the set node, drag off and search for a delay node and set the value to 0.5. Finally drag off and add the boost increase function. Remember to add comments around the codes for the boost decrease and increase respectively. Compile and save then drag over the boost increase and decrease codes and move them lower to make space for the code that's going to be added by the IA underscore boost enhanced input function. Select the spring arm for the back camera under the components tab and search for lag then click the enable camera lag option. Clear the search bar, still within the spring arm option. Look for target arm length and change it to 800. This is just to see the vehicle better. Part of the code that will be added, is going to make it so that the camera lags further behind the vehicle when the boost button is pressed to communicate a sense of increased speed. Right click and search get boost fuel, drag off and search for greater equal to then from the triggered option by the IA underscore boost function, drag off and add a branch node and connect the greater equal to the condition of the branch node. Drag from the branch node and add the boost decrease function. Select the last four nodes and add a comment named decrease boost. From the boost decrease and search get physics linear velocity then From the return value, drag and add a multiply node then hover over the lower left pin of the node and convert to float. Single precision and set the value to 1.004. From the physics linear velocity, drag and search set physics linear velocity and connect the multiply node to the new value. Drag in or search. For the vehicle movement component, drag off and add updated primitive and connect to the target under set physics linear velocity. Drag from the set physics linear velocity and search for set field of view, back camera. From the back camera node, drag and search for get field of view then drag in the delta seconds. Variable then...
from the get field of view node, drag off and search for function interp2, connect delta seconds to delta time and connect the function interp2 to the set field of view. Change the target to 100 and the interp speed to 0.5. Drag in the spring arm for the back camera, drag off and search set camera lag max distance. Right click and add interp to function then from the spring arm node, drag off and add get, camera lag max distance. Connect to the current under the function interp to and connect to the set camera lag max distance. Drag in the delta seconds variable and connect to delta time. Change the target to 400 and interp speed to 0.5. Drag over from the mesh node to the set physics linear velocity node and add a comment called velocity. Drag over from the back camera to the set field of view and add another comment. Name camera field of view then drag over the last few nodes and add a comment and name it camera lag. Compile and save then open the vehicle UI widget. By the vehicle UI, we're going to be adding a way to display the boost fuel value. Add a text block to the overlay and align it to the bottom left side. Within the text block details tab, change the padding value to 32 and under font change the size to 100 to make it more visible. Under content, select the bind drop down and create a new bind. Drag off from get text and add a get all actors of class. Under the drop down for actor class, search for the sports car pawn. Drag off from the out actors, search get, a copy, drag off. From the get and search get boost fuel then drag off from that and search to text, float, and connect to the return node. Select all, add a comment and name it get boost fuel. Close the vehicle UI tab, we are now done with that and head over to the level tab. Run a test to make sure that all the code that has been added so far doesn't cause Unreal to crash and that it is working fine. The code works, now to change it so that boost only actives when the boost fuel is greater than zero. First change the default boost fuel value from zero to 100. Run another test to see if the subtract function is working as it should. Delete the greater equal to and replace it with a greater than. This will make it so that once the boost fuel hits zero, the effect will no longer work. The boost subtract is working and now gonna go add the code so that the boost can regenerate once the boost button has been let go. If you don't want the boost to decrease as fast, go and change the delay value by the boost decrease function to a higher value. The code for the boost increase is fairly simple. Copy all the code within the field of view and camera light comments, as they are, and place them below the top code. Drag from the Completed option by the boost enhanced input and connect to the code. Make sure everything else is also connected.
drag off from the set camera lag max distance and add a delay node, set. The value to 0.5 then drag off from the delay node and add the boost increase function. Select the two nodes, add a comment and name it boost increase. Change the target value by the interp to function for the field of view to 90 and do the same for the interp to function for the camera lag and change the target to 50. Compile, save, then add over to the level tab and run a test. The code appears to be running just fine, the boost fuel is decreasing when the boost button is pressed and increases again half a second after letting go of the button. Gonna quickly show why the delay nodes needed to be added to the code for the boost increase and decrease functions. Disconnect the delay node by the boost decrease function and run another test. When you run the test you should see a pop-up appear saying something about an infinite loop. This is. Because their increase and decrease values are the same, both are set to 1. To fix this change the subtract bt the boost decrease to 2 but then you run into a different problem. Cause. There is no delay node added, for every delta second that passes while the boost button is pressed, it will subtract 2 from the boost fuel which just means that the effect won't work or. Rather you won't see it work. It happens so fast that it looks instantaneous. So the delay node is needed so that a certain amount of seconds needs to pass before each subtraction happens. That's why the higher the value for the delay node is by the boost decrease function, the slower it will empty the boost fuel and if you increase it by the boost increase function then the slower it will be to refill the boost fuel. That is it for this video and thank you for watching until the end. Until the next video.